Oh, hey, Jack. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just playing Doom on my uh, super cheap gaming setup. Yeah, where'd this come from? Um, why is it? Why are you in my room doing it? Well, so about a half hour ago, you asked me if I wanted to come in here and show off this super cheap gaming setup. Uh, so that's what's going on. Oh, you made me die! Wow. Hey, Jack. Yes, so, you wanna, like, give me a rundown on all this? Yeah, so, uh, the rig. Yeah, you said that. We already did a video on the rig. Yeah, 150. Yeah, 150. Um, we added RAM to it, by the way. I'm not gonna take it out just for this video, but I already showed off performance on that in the other video, so please go check that out if you wanna see the $150 rig. Uh, I know it's a little jank. There's cables everywhere, but, I mean, you definitely get... A different setup for the same price um, and then the keyboard was twenty dollars yeah so what is this what, what is this using is this this isn't just a membrane keyboard no it? this is a uh, cherry MX red switch I believe keyboard yeah very yeah. very cheap very very nice and affordable um, this mouse was twenty five dollars right, that's the logitech uh, 603 I do believe so. I don't know. I think we might have it linked in the description, though. Yeah, it's got all these cool so gamer buttons on it. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, monitor was free. Yeah. And then we have a $5 headset, which, if you're cool enough, it does this. Or that. Wait. Or it turns off. That's another option. Okay, so I want to go a little more in-depth on this setup, so... We very briefly described the price and everything. You can do so much customization with this, and a lot of this is super heavily your mileage may vary. Like, these components could be twice as expensive for you, they could be half the price. You really just have to look around. Um, some of this obviously was done with free stuff. This chair I'm in, free desk, free monitor right here, free, okay? Again, I'm not saying that these items don't have value, but I also don't think that it's insanely unrealistic that you couldn't find a desk on Craigslist for free. I made sure to do a bunch of research and look around for about a month to make sure that at least one desk popped up, that one monitor popped up, that one chair popped up on the free section, and I saw it. You may have to wait a while in your area. You may just not have any in your area. You may have a ton of them. I don't know. It's going to change a lot, so I, I know... $200 setup might be stretching it a little bit for some people, but for some other people, this could be like you could do this tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure to go ahead and include it. Now, this monitor does quite a bit of special stuff. Also, if you get desk, maybe get one that's like a, a tiny bit wider and longer. <laughs> the monitor doesn't really fit too well in here, but that's okay. So finding old CRT monitors is really difficult getting a specific one nailed down. There's gonna be so many different types, some really good shape, some bad, some awesome at overclocking, some can't do it at all. Like, you could probably find a bunch of really old TVs that only do 240p really easy, but finding an actual computer monitor might be a tiny bit harder. But I don't know if you can see, now right now we're dipping down because we're actually running this at 1600 by 1200 which honestly very well could be a higher resolution than what you guys are watching this on right now and this thing is super old so if you really want to push it you can like this thing can do so much the max uh resolution on here is like it's 18 something by 1440 anyway it's 4 by 3 1440p like that's really good a lot of people still don't even use 1440p monitors right now so you can get a ton out of this and you can overclock it and make it really fast. We are playing at 85 hertz right now for a good balance between resolution, um, like in terms of picture quality and refresh rate, how fast the screen's gonna be changing. And it feels so nice, especially on a game like this on Doom, uh, especially on the newer Doom. I mean, the old Doom, obviously it's gonna feel good, but, but something like this, it just runs it really, really smooth. Whenever you actually hit the 85, 
again, we have been dipping. I have the settings up quite a bit. Now, if you do have a monitor that's vaguely like popular, that has a little bit of documentation on it, you can actually, and I'll show you the one for this, you can pull up and find the list of max supported refresh rates. Like this does, 1024 by 768 at 118 hertz interlaced now doing interlaced on windows 10 is a whole beast in itself and i'll probably do a separate video on that because like i know how to do it pretty well on the nvidia control panel for my personal rig i don't really know how to do it yet for the amd so we're just running 85 hertz instead of 120 and you may not always want to do 120. You may want to bump up the resolution. Again, you can do, this one right here can do 75 hertz at the 1440p 4x3 equivalent. So there's just so much flexibility and with such a cheap entry point to be able to play, like if you're a BR player, if you want to play some like Apex Legends or some Fortnite on this thing, you are going to crush it playing at 120 hertz. The setup will not burn you.